Hi guys, welcome to Behind the Bar with Cara Devine. That's me and this is my bar. Um, since we are actually in Bomba, which is my job, rather than um, sometimes we do film in a studio, we've got kind of access to this big back bar and all of the different accoutrements that we have kicking around in the bar. So the team thought it would be fun to do a bit of a mystery ingredient challenge for me. So uh, they are gonna pick something, one thing that's sort of non-alcoholic and then we're just gonna do a little wander around the back bar with my finger and they're gonna choose uh, something else and I'm gonna try and combine those with some other things and hopefully make something delicious but if it's not delicious they have to drink it anyway because this is their fault. So, condiment wise. Let's try pickled onions. Pickled onions, okay. I'm nervous now. <laughs> All right, let's just start here. Say, say stop when you want me to do something. Stop. Here? Yeah, let's go that one. That one? Okay. There's not heaps of it left, um, but actually not the worst pairing in the world for uh, pickled onions because this one is a little aquavit. Um, it's made locally by Never Never. They did it as like a bit of a just fun experiment thing. So I'll kind of aniseed caraway. I'm very lucky. I was nervous when I started in the whiskeys there, but very lucky that they are uh, finished in the kind of gin and vodka section because that would definitely have been where I wanted to be, but yeah. Let's see what I can do. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep this pretty simple. Try not to uh, embarrass myself, I suppose. And we're gonna do just a bit of a riff on a Gibson, which is obviously the kind of classic uh, pickled onion recipe uh, that is essentially a martini, which is garnished with pickled onions. Um, but I think for that, what I'm gonna do is, I'll use, I think, a little bit of vermouth, but almost use the aqua bit as the vermouth part of it. Um, so yeah, probably just maybe do a little five mils of this if it just needs tied together and softened out because both of these are obviously full strength spirits. Um, so it might just need a little bit of softness coming from something a little bit less boozy in there. Uh, and then I'm gonna go a really, almost like anti, I thought about doing something again quite savory, but if you've got herbaceous vermouth, kind of your savory briny pickles, your pretty savory kind of spicy and herbal um, aquavit, then I think something really bright and fresh. So it is a gin, so it does still obviously have some botanical kind of structure to it, uh, but it's a fresh yuzu one. So that's just gonna hopefully bring in a nice whack of citrus and not make it all too overwhelming. Fingers crossed. So when I'm playing around like this, and this is definitely a bit of a, my bar manager hat on as I obviously don't like to waste too much product. Um, so I'll usually start almost and do like a little mini version. Uh, so rather than going a full, you know, 60 mils or whatever I think I'm gonna use of this, I'll do it in, in miniature. So I'm gonna start, I think with um, maybe 15 mils of the gin. And about 10 mils of the aquavit. and just literally like five mils, if even that, of vermouth. I think that tastes pretty good actually, which considering I have a bit of an aversion to aniseed, uh, I think is, you know, means we're headed in the right direction. Um, I was just gonna garnish, but let's take a little chance. And I'm just gonna drop almost the same way as you would bitters, just a little Bloosh of uh, actual olive brine in there. And then we're gonna make this an actual cocktail at this point. So kind of do it up in the same proportion, I suppose. So if I did 15 of this and 10 of this, uh, then I probably want to go another 30 of this. So up to 45 and another um, 20 of the, uh, sorry, yeah, another 20 of the Aquavit. Which is as much as I have in the bottle, actually a little bit less. So hopefully that works out okay. And so then we'll do another 10 mils. So we're gonna have 15 mils total of this, um, 45 mils total of this, and 30 mils total of the Aquavit. So 
So I'm not gonna add any more of the pickled onion juice until I've diluted it a bit and just see uh, sort of how the flavors all come together with the water, like the little dilution. And obviously I will have the pickled onions in there so you'll get a bit of kind of residual juice coming off of them. So we might not need more of the brine. We'll see how it plays out. A little garnish in there. Very ad hoc as well. I've lost my uh, spoon so we'll just use a Nice and straw. I think it does need a little something something to brighten it up, so I'm going to do a little bit of more brine and one dash of celery bitters. Yeah, I mean. You definitely kind of need to like a martini, I think, to enjoy this one. There's not, it's gonna be quite bracing, but uh, I think it's worked out all right. It's nice because it's actually still really clean. Um, you obviously do get a little bit of flavor, um, you know, that little kind of aniseed -y, uh flavor coming through from the aquavit and a little bit of brine, but I think because not using a big, bold, savory gin, using something really bright and fresh, um, it actually still drinks like quite a, just like a crisp, dry martini with a few little interesting hints that, uh, you know, keep you intrigued and coming back for more. So, you know, I hope the guys enjoy, but our little ad hoc mystery ingredient Gibson martini. So now you know.